Okay. What is up, my beautiful people? It's me, your friendly YouTube queer girl with the bob. <laughs> if you're new to my channel and this is the very first time you're seeing my face, welcome. My name is Kira Graves and I'm from the lovely, exotic land of Toronto, Canada. If you already know me and my content, I think you'll be very excited to know that I am going to be starting a new, kind of new, sort of old but kind of new, I'm bringing it back, YouTube video series called Hashtag Ask Queera. I know I made a few videos in my Ask Queera video series but in those videos, I answered like a ton of questions all in one video. And so for this video series, I'm doing one question per video. And I'm actually doing it for real now, guys. I know I've been on a hiatus, but now that I have absolutely nothing to do other than stare at the camera, I'm gonna be making a lot more YouTube videos now, which is so exciting. So in each video in the series, I'm going to be answering an anonymous question on all things LGBTQ+, from you little bi babies, you little queerios, <laughs> you little LGBTs. I'm really hungry and there's no food in my fridge, so I'm thinking about food, I'm sorry. I asked my Instagram followers to send me in questions through my Instagram story, and by the way, if you wanna go follow my Instagram, I will put it somewhere on the screen. This question in particular popped up a lot, so that's why I figured I would answer it in the very first video of the series. So here is anonymous friend number one's question for Ask Queera, for the Queera Meister, for Q Queera Gaves. <laughs> Kira Gaves, get it? Cause, yeah. Quotation marks. How the hell do you know the difference between an outgoing lesbian being extremely friendly and actually liking you? People complain about straight girlfriends, but lesbians are worse. FML. This is a totally valid question, and actually a lot of other people asked questions similar to it. It is sometimes very hard to differentiate whether a girl that you know is gay is flirting with you or just like really wants to be your close friend. So I've written down a bunch of things that may be telltale signs that the girl is actually into you and doesn't just want to be in the friend zone. I'm just speaking from my own experience. This could be totally off and you could be like, Kira, why are you giving advice on YouTube? A lot of these are also things that my girlfriend and I have noticed, like when we first met, what, like how we were flirting with each other. So I got a lot of inspiration from that too. By the way, my girlfriend and I started a TikTok and I know that like I used to say, I will never get a TikTok, it's so silly. Like I have better things to do with my time, but like at this point in my life or at this point in the world, I don't have better things to do with my time, so I've decided to resort to TikTok, and it's actually really fun. So if you want to follow my girlfriend Lauren and I's TikTok, follow it at ByDaddies. Now on to the signs. So my girlfriend and I noticed that when we first met, we had two types of eye flirting. So I personally was making a lot of eye contact and like would not stop looking at her, and I feel like that's a way of eye flirting. <laughs> But she could not look me in the eye at all because she was nervous. If the girl in question is either making a lot of eye contact with you or not making any eye contact at all, that could be a sign. I found in my own personal experience that it's one extreme or the other. Or another thing is it could be if she's looking at you and you're looking away and you're like explaining something and then once you look back at her she looks away because she's nervous that could be a sign too the second telltale sign and i feel like this is a pretty obvious one is touching girls that only want to be friends with you usually aren't like wanting to touch you 24 7. she could be a very affectionate person and like a lot of my friends for example are very touchy like they'll be like oh ha 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 and like touch your shoulder or they'll be like oh smack 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 kira shut up if they want to be in close proximity to you then that could be a sign if they like put their hand on your thigh but that's an obvious one right if they like nudge you or like do you like a playful like Oh my god, 
Stop. It could be like you're out at like with a group and you're all eating dinner and she could be like playing footsies with you, but also like don't touch my feet. I mean, some people like that. But... Anyway, moving on. The third telltale sign that a girl might be into you is she wants one-on-one -on -one time. In my experience, usually if a girl likes you, she'll always be asking you to hang out alone without anyone else around. If she invites other people, then it might be a different story, unless you like just got to know each other and like she feels more comfortable in a group talking to you, then that's another story. But if she continually only wants to hang out with you in a group, then I think she might just wanna be your friend. Unless when you're in the group, you're like the only person that she sees and like she doesn't talk to anyone else, she's just like with you all the time, then she might have a crush on you. The number four telltale sign is mentioning you. So this could be if she mentions you a lot outside of your own conversations together. So let's say she's talking to a friend and she's like, oh yeah, so-and-so, that's you. Oh my god, me and so-and-so did this and it was so cute and like whatever. Or if she like brings you up in a teasing way in other people's conversations, then that might be a sign. Oh my god, if she tells you that she told her mom about you, that's a really big sign. I feel like that's kind of obvious, but some people might not catch that. Also, if she adds you on social media a lot, like mentions you in stories or like on other posts, or if she like sends you a meme or something and is like thinking about you. And also I find that this is something that I have wanted to do when I had a new crush is like, post pictures of them on my story and be like, I was with this person. Like, I would want everyone to know that I was with this person that I like. Even if it was like a picture of your latte and you guys like went out for coffee, if you didn't actually take a picture with each other and you just took a picture of like the coffee and like she posts the coffee and like tags you, that's like kind of an obvious sign. I don't know, what do you guys think? Number five telltale sign is she's very expressive with her texting. I don't know about you, but when I text my like crush or significant other, I'm always like having a lot of emotion in my texting. And when I'm texting my friends, I'm so bland. I don't know why, it's just like a thing that I do. Do you guys do that too? Comment below. When I was like first getting to know my girlfriend, I was sending a ton of emojis, like, like, you know, heart emoji, smile emoji, praying emoji, any kind of like dancing emoji, any kind of emoji, or like lots of exclamation marks. <laughs> or she like repeats letters and words. So instead of being like, what's up, like plain what's up, it could be like, what's up? P -p 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 question mark, question mark, question mark, smiley face. You know, do you see the difference? Number six telltale sign is reminiscing. I find that if someone reminisces a lot about things that you've done together, they're trying to like bring into your mind of all the like the happy times you had together. In their mind, they wanna associate themselves with you. And I don't know about you, but that's kind of what I do when I'm into someone is I'm like, oh my gosh, like remember when we went to the beach and had wine? Like, oh my God, remember when that creepy man followed us? <laughs> Even if you went on like only two coffee dates and she's reminiscing about like the two coffee dates you went on, I feel like that's a pretty big sign. Or even if she uses memories on Instagram and she's like, ah, oh, like post a picture. Remember when we went to this coffee shop? Like, remember when we went to see all those cats? I don't know, random stuff like that. Cats. 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 I don't know why I'm saying cats. I want one though. <laughs> <laughs> probably saying cats because my girlfriend and I really want a cat and we've been like looking all over the place but because of the COVID-19 situation everyone's like oh we're not doing adoptions right now and like oh like we can't have face-to-face -face meetings with the cats because they're in foster homes and then you have to go into someone's home. Anyway we're really trying to find a cat though we're like very motivated to find a cat. <laughs> Back to the point of reminiscing if she's doing anything to prove to the world that she was with you that could be a really big sign. Almost as if you're like a celebrity in her eyes. Also, if she reminisces about inside jokes that you guys made and maybe you like forgot about the inside joke and like didn't think it was gonna keep going on, it was just like a thing in the moment and she brings it up again and again, it's like kind of relating her like association with you 
and I feel like that's what people, when they like someone, they want to like feel close to the person that they like. Yeah, that's number six. Number seven is shit in common. I find that sometimes if I don't even have many things in common with someone, I'll try to like say that we have things in common even if it's a stretch and she may bring those things up a lot and this also goes back to like her wanting to have an association like a close association with you like oh my god we're so alike in these ways oh my god we should be together oh my god let's have babies yeah number eight is future plans i find that when a girl likes you she's gonna want to make a lot of future plans with you and like she'll see a restaurant and notice that it just opened up and be like oh my gosh i want to take you to this restaurant like it's so cute it just opened up oh my gosh we should like have a cute picnic at the beach this summer with wine she could just like really want to hang out with you as a friend but if they're all if they're like romantic date ideas then like that could be a sign. Ooh, another thing is like volunteering to go places with her, even if it has nothing to do with a date. Like let's say you cracked your phone or something. She'd be like, oh my gosh, like I'll go with you to the phone store to get it fixed. Like random stuff like that where like you don't even need to be together, but she's like, oh my God, I'll come with you, I'll come with you, I'll come with you. Number nine is constantly paying for you. I know that friends can totally pay for each other and that's like very common, but if like a girl is always, always paying for you every time, as if she has an endless bank account, <laughs> even though we know she doesn't, that could be a sign that she really, really likes you and like wants to impress you. And she's like, oh, I got you. Like, I got you. Like, don't even worry. Like, I'm rich. Like, I want to spend all my money on you. And number 10 is she teases you a lot. This is something that I personally don't always like like when someone's flirting with me and they're teasing me a lot just because I'm like a really sensitive bean. If someone attacks me, I'm like, eh, go into a hole. But a lot of girls when they're flirting will tease you and like poke fun at you a lot. Even if it comes to the point where it's like kind of offensive and you're like, whoa, like stop hating on me. I feel attacked. She could still just be like, poking fun at you and she likes you and like she wants to get like a rise out of you. She probably doesn't actually mean to make you upset, but I find that like a lot of people do that when they like other people. And also if you're into her too, tease her back because then like she gets a taste of her own medicine and then she might not be as hard on you. And that is it, folks. Those are my 10 telltale signs that a girl might be into you and she doesn't just want to be friends. It's definitely very hard to tell, but I think with these like 10 signs, you probably know. And if you have a gut feeling, like always go with your gut feelings. They're always right. Listen to your intuition, people. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and you got something out of it. Anonymous user friend on Instagram number one, thank you so much for sending in your question. It was a great question and please send in more. I can't wait to film a second video in this series. It's so much fun. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you know when I'm doing my second Ask Queera video in the series. Follow me on TikTok at Bye Daddies. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you liked this video. If you didn't, you don't need to subscribe. It's fine. And that's all for today. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, stay safe.